In this problem, we should find electric current passing through this wire here. I'm not sure about its direction. We'll find it later. So basically, we should find electric current passing from this part. So uh, let me assume electric current passing from here equal to I1. Electric, pa uh, electric current uh, passing from this wire, let it be I2. Here I3. Then here it will be I1 minus I2 minus I3. This is uh, due to the Kirchhoff's first law. Now uh, let's apply Kirchhoff's second law. And uh, we have uh, uh, three loops basically. Here, let, let it call loop A. Here, loop B. And uh, here, loop C. Now let's write, uh, let's apply Kirchhoff's second law for loop A for this part. And so total uh, summation of addition of all voltages in this loop should be equal to zero. Very simple. Uh, so negative 2e plus 3r times i2 plus 2r times i1 should be equal to 0. We are just applying Kirchhoff's second law for loop A. So let me use these data, these numbers. Uh, negative 2 times e, 250 plus 3 times R, 1000, basically 3000 I2 here, 2000 I1 equal to 0. Or, or we can say here uh, 500, 500 equal to 3000 I2 plus 2000 I1. We can divide both sides by 500. So here we'll have 1, here we'll have 6 I2, I2 plus 4 I1. So this is equation number one. Now let's come to loop B. Here we have only two resistors, 4R and 3R. So addition, summation of voltages of these R's should be equal to zero. Again, Kirchhoff's second law. So basically, uh, negative 3R I2 plus 4R I3 should be equal to 0 or 3 times I2 equal to 4I3. This is equation number 2. Now let's come to loop C. Again, let's apply Kirchhoff's second law. Here we have uh, three elements. Voltage of these three elements, summation of voltages should be equal to again zero. Kirchhoff's second law. So uh, E, E, uh, minus R times I1 minus I2 minus I3. Plus, here plus, here minus uh, 4R I3 should be equal to zero. So E equal to 2. 50 plus R is 1000 I1 minus I2 minus I0 minus 4000 I3 uh, equal to 0. We can divide both sides by 250 and uh, mm, here we'll have 1 other side we'll have 16 I3 minus 4 I1 minus I2 minus I3. So this is the equation number 3. So basically we have a three equations and the three unknowns I1, I2, I3. Actually these three equations enough for us to solve this problem. Further is totally mess. At this point, uh, till this point we applied all physics knowledge. knowledge. Further is totally mess. And we believe we can solve this problem because three equations and the three unknowns. So first it is totally mess. So from here, from this equation, uh, I3 equal to 3I2 over 4.
So we will rep uh, replace I3 with this equation, 3I2 over 4. Uh, from here, I1 equal to 1 minus 6I2 divided by 4. We will replace I1 with this equation, 1 minus 6I2 divided by 4. And we will take it and substitute in this equation, I1. So in this equation, we will have only one unknown, I3. And we can find, calculate I3. So further totally mess, um, we'll continue with this equation. One, 16 times I3, which is, uh, first of all, let me open this bracket. Four I one plus four I two plus four I three, basically twenty I three minus four one four I one plus four I two. So I three equal to three I two over four minus four I one I one equal to one minus six I two over four. Plus four I two. So pay attention. In this equation, we have only one unknown I two. It means we can solve this problem. Here we have five. Here we have one. One equal to five times three, fifteen I two. Here we have just one. So one minus plus here six I two minus minus will be plus plus four I two. So two equal to twenty five. I2, so I2 equal to 2 over 25, which is approximately uh, 2 over 25, 0 0.08 amperes. This is I2, uh, so I3 will be equal to 3 times 0 0.08 over 4, so I3 will be equal to 0.06 amperes uh, I1 equal to 1 minus 6 times 0 0.08 over 4 so I1 equal to 0.13 over 4 0.13 amperes uh, so now we didn't finish we'll continue i1 uh, i1 in this direction equal to uh, 0 0.13 amperes i2 in this direction equal to uh, 0 0.08 amperes so at this point we, we need to apply kirchhoff's first law kirchhoff's first law so uh, I 0 0.13 equal to 0 0.08 plus unknown this I. Or, uh, yes, so from here we understand that I is directed to the right, basically. This I unknown, let me use different color here. Kirchhoff's, we will apply Kirchhoff's first law, I plus this one. 0 0.08 should be equal to 0 0.13 so from here i equal to 0 0.05 amperes e electric current passing through this y equal to 0 0.05 amperes to the right uh, 